Most singers have a huge problem singing from the chest voice through the vocal break and into the head voice without pushing, without squeezing, without choking, without experiencing instability problems and without sounding weak and windy on top. I know this because I dedicated my life to helping singers learn how to fix that problem. My name is Robert Lunty and I'm the founder of the Vocalist Studio. Work with my training program and if you do your part and practice, I guarantee you, you'll fix that problem. I look forward to hearing Good, you're doing a good attack and release on the top now. That's fine if you want to. Just now. Not too far on that air. Hello, I'm Robert Lunty, founder of the Vocalist Studio. When you purchase the Vocal Athlete Package, when you invest in my two top training programs, Mojave Audio is going to send you this microphone, the MAD, the Smooth Alternative, this hand-built, beautiful, well-crafted microphone for free. No kidding. Purchase the Vocal Athlete Package with the Vocalist Studio, Mojave Audio will send you this beautiful mic for free. And it's a great mic, it really is. Good. Good. Let's work on that F. Not don't 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 fully just splat out to full out ah. Man. Not getting any muscle, you're not getting resistance work out of that. Uh it's just be A-ish. The Presentation to the listener still has to be the illusion of A, even though at this frequency it becomes sort of an A A hybrid with a pinch of uh. May, may, yeah, may. 
that's that's about 60% A and about 30% A and about 10% something narrowed like uh, uh, uh. it's three colors in one. May. All right, I want you to nail that. May. Shit, I'm flat, sorry. May. Ready? Nice. A hair too much ah. Man, it's stacking eggs. Man. And yeah. Yes, that's F4 right here. Flirt, flirt right on the edge. Not easy. Very difficult. Some may say, F, F sharp, two most difficult notes in a man's voice. These guys right here. It's not this one. It's not the high screaming note. It's these right here. F and F sharp, right here, right above, right, right past the passaggio, right, Matt? You knew that. Right, e, e five is a little tougher. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, all right, smart. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> <That's a joke. laughs> okay, smart ass. <laughs> yeah, at some point, then the whole story begins again. But yeah, um, let's just say within the fourth octave, right? Okay, so nice. I like that. Let's do it again. May, yeah! May! May! Good. May! May! Yeah! It's great. You notice how that's very forward and bright. It's it's edgy. If that were, you couldn't. You can't even get an. Uh, you can't even get a curving thing going on up there. All right. So check it out. I love it. Do it again. As you get to the lower notes, uh, keep it forward. Remember this old lesson? Singers will do this. <laughs> Somehow the association of low of going to a lower note somehow associates with making the foul dopey. It's a human thing. I don't. Everybody does that. Don't do that. Keep edging all the way down and crying. Then your low notes are bright and crispy and lovely. <laughs> what's, what's, what's funny, Rob, is earlier you were you were in the earlier exercise you were given the like this this thumbs up thing, and then it almost broke my nose because for some reason Zoom decided to start showing like because you were two thumbs up so that like fireworks started showing up in Zoom, and so I had to like <laughs> I had to like stop myself from laughing because it's so funny no. to see fireworks. Dude, it's it's a thing. It's a thing with me, and my clients laugh at me. So. <laughs> About a year ago, I don't know how or what, but I turned it on. I turned on this silly, like, you know, thing that like seventh grade girls were doing all over the world. <laughs> and now, so I've got like dancing bears, I got hearts, fireworks, balloons, kites. <laughs> you know. Dude, I've got, I've got, you know, my little pony, you know, it's, you know, it's all flashing up and I have no idea where it came from and I have no <laughs> idea how to turn it off. But, but it it it's good for a laugh, you know. Like yeah. like, and now I know how to control it. So so somebody says, okay, we'll take it. Send me the contract. I'll go. 
<laughs> you know, we get fireworks. <laughs> All right. Um, you're doing great. Uh, go ahead and fire up again. Let's continue. I just wanted to gloss yeah. it over. You just wanted to kind of get it. It was already doing great. I just want to make it even more glassy. So continue, please. Yeah, fight for it now. You're gonna have to fight for it on top. It's not gonna be easy. Belt. Hey, 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 hey. You gotta fight for it now. You're belting. What's the vowel? A. 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 Really good, Matt. Got a formant shift there. Time out. Time out. Time out. So what happens at A four? Um, we want to shift to more of an R. Well, that's the solution to what happens at A four. Well, you're kind of going into the next. Uh, I don't know if it's the next register, but I guess it's a register, right? Next yeah. register. You could call it a register, yeah. Um, it's a form. It's a it's a major formant change. So the uh, the resonance in the upper vocal track has to shift if you want it to keep going. It has to shift its position, and and that means you have to turn a vowel. Anyways, yeah, it's tricky. Training, we've already made a commitment to A or or A ishness. A A Stark Nights A ishness. Now there is a lot of A in that. I will I, I will concede, but but not as much as what you're doing. 50-50. a high B, um, you're flat on high B, 
you need to you need to turn the valve more. It's not you're not going to get to the beat unless you turn the valve a little bit. Okay, so you can put in more. I guess there's, a, there's a struggle between keeping as much of the ashness as possible. The more you try to keep the the ashness, the harder it is to get the no. So I guess you got to find the right balance and keeping keep keeping the a versus not keeping too much of the a. I guess. <laughs> yeah. The th yeah. Yeah, so there's a conflict between what the the technique of the physics, what we're doing is demanding you, which is to stay on an A, okay, and then sort of the the body's natural inclination to want to just I don't want to stay on an A. I just want to go to an A and be and be done with it and go home. You know, the body it is it speaks back to you. It wants to just flip to the A, but we have to hold it on the A. And yet we're trying to get to the to the B note. So anyways, so you so so in the end you end up with trying to maintain the proper training vowel yet delicately allowing a little bit of pressure through you're sort of bleeding a little bit of pressure so that you can turn you get a little bit of a ishness in there but not too much so there's a balance there okay but it's not easy like you said your point is well it's not easy to do that that resistance that that physical challenge of finding a balance and, and working a little bit harder to keep it more on the A spectrum than letting it just completely flop out to an A is resistance training. It builds musculature. Because you can feel it pushing against you, right? You can feel it you feel it resisting what you're what you're asking it to do. You can feel it saying, I don't want to. I I, I want to just go I just want to just go, you know, I just want to, I just want to slouch in my chair. I don't want to stand up straight. Okay. But keeping it stiff and holding that position creates musculature strength. So then when you pull it off and, you, and you're on the B and it's still true to the training valve, Feel really proud about it like it feels like a victory because you you overcame the body a little bit and you're you're now you're flirting with you know superhero tricks man, man, man. Yes. <laughs> it's been a while. Also, it's, hard, it's harder to it's harder to maintain the A when you're sweeping up as opposed to if you just start there. It's something about that. It's harder to what's hard it's harder both to keep the A ishness while sweeping up as opposed to just like attacking the note, I guess. I don't know. That is true. For whatever reason. That is true. That is very true. <clears throat> um because in a tenth of a second, because that's, because that's a transition in what you're doing inside. I suppose you got to you got to change it up as opposed to like just starting in that configuration. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> it's easier to jump than it is to run and then jump. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you're an ice skater, it's easier to probably just do a centrifugal spin thing. You know, they do just like push off once and just do that than it is to go backwards, go forwards, go backwards, do a flippy flop and then stop and do a You know, it's the context. You're right. It's the context of everything that's happening before it, which is also not easy. OK, but there again, that's my point. That's why we just do track and release onsets all the time. Eventually, we get on to put in the onset on the move we want the onset and all of its balance all those the embouchure the vowel the the physical the acoustic all the stuff 
we want to we want to take it on a journey through passage of frequency through the frequency spectrum and 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 the game is maintaining all of that integrity including the vowel but there's a lot of other things too right maintaining all that integrity as we as we drive it through the chaos of frequency change and if you can do it in a clean beautiful way then what it's resistance training you get stronger good things come out of that good things happen in your voice you you can maintain vowels i can guarantee you that you can bridge your passaggio after you do do that a hundred times you know and you learn about vowel modification and you get to know where your bridges are and and you can sustain a respiration you know sirens are awesome they 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 are really great anyways i'm in the weeds a little bit but um uh here you go i think you need to give us a b don't you let's do it doing so well today that I want that I don't want you I'm not going to allow you to shortchange yourself on that beat you were flat you jump but you jump ship on like a B flat get up there man <laughs> okay Good. I'm coughing because I haven't sang a high B in a, in a while. I'm out of shape. <clears throat> Do it again, Matt. When you get to the B, I want you to sustain it. No. Don't, don't just tickle it. No. And get off of it. <clears throat> Not right now. Because you're struggling a little bit to get a good B. So what do we do when we're struggling to get a good beat? We run away from it, we retreat from it, we avoid it, we hide from it? No, we don't. What you do if you're a great vo voice student is you embrace the hard stuff. Get to that beat and just sit on that sucker and hold it for six seconds. <clears throat> Strengthen it. <clears throat> <laughs> Okay, that's what I was asking you to do. I was asking you to fight for it a little bit, and you did a good job with that. Um, you're you're fighting a little too hard because your vowel's not quite right. So you're so that resistance that we've been talking about on the vowel, you need to let you need you need to you need to bleed a little bit more at on it, just a touch. Okay. 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 So so it's a little bit hollery, a little bit pushy holler. Uh, Release some, release the valve pressure a little bit, a little more out on that. <laughs> That's it, right there. Yeah, yeah. Again. Pushing, you're pushing too hard on that top. <clears throat> Lighten the mass. Lighten the mass a little bit up there. You're slapping. You're slapping the water. There you go. Great, man. Yeah. Yeah.
<clears throat> splat more. Splat is sort of a means splat starts synonymous with ah. Ah, splat, splat, splat more on there. Matt! Matt! Ah! Easy. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's it. That's how we do it. No. Attack and release onset off the top. Five attack and release onsets with cry mode. Um, yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. Just do your best and let's keep moving. Ah! 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 Okay, do you have a keyboard there? Yeah. Okay, because my uh, my battery's just crapped out. So give us a uh, um a, a B a B four. Huh? Yep. Well, I'm I'm giving you a cue, you do the workout. <clears throat> Man, come on. Cue it up. Frame it on your keyboard so you can get your pitches right. Well, hey, give yourself give yourself the bottom note too. Um, frame it. Frame it. Play, play, play. Hey, play a harmonic fifth so you know you actually have a fifth. Okay. Good job. It, you're getting a little bit of this. Somewhere in the middle, it kind of gets dopey for a moment. Watch it. Be careful. Keep it forward. Better. That's an A. Next note, down. <clears throat> I, 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 I. I'm doing batteries. Keep going. You're doing great. Keep going. <laughs> goes a little bit uh ish right there in the middle there's a it, it, it sort of so just 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 uh, it just flashes just a little bit uh, 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 uh. 
Fix that. Slow down. The way you would fix that is to slow down and pay attention. You've lost your vowel. That whole thing is uh. Give us A, steak and eggs, not stuck in eggs. A. Splitting hairs, but I'm gonna pick on you because you're doing so great. That's uh. That is uh, we want It's there when I don't want it, and when I want it, it won't be there, little bitch. <laughs> Matt, great job, man. Great job. Your voice is coordinated. You, uh, you, uh, you act like you've done this before. <clears throat> well, don't be too, don't, don't be too excited about it. You, you look like somebody stole your puppy. <laughs> I mean, it'll be okay, man. It'll be okay. You'll pay your bills. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Great job, Matt. All right. So, um, big theme for you today was edging. Inter interesting because that was one of your questions on the beginning of the lesson was sort of related to you know, the world of edging and questions that come from edging. So, you're Mr. Edge a lot now. <laughs> um, I have a question, is there, um, so I have, um, I have your, um, I have your course, of course, the video thing, and then I have an older version of the book, but it seems like the version I have is kind of like at least a couple editions out of date. I remember this way to get the because like some of the some of the things in the book kind of contradict the the newer things in the video course. Just because I think I'm a bit of an older version. Uh, yeah, that's possible. Yeah, uh, yeah. So um, here I'll give you the link to the the most recent version of the book. Um, you've been with me for so long. <laughs> you might you like like don't get don't lose the older book that you have because those things are rare man like you'd be able to <laughs> like if, if i if i you know if i if i if i kick the can you can like go out, go out to ebay man and get some good get good price for that <laughs> all right that wasn't funny but it was kind of all right <laughs> I, I would want you to do that <laughs> what i heard was robert would want kill, me to, what i heard was kill robert lenty that's what that's what i heard robert would want me to do this <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh there's a little video here here's the new book i'm going to drop the link in here for you if, if you wanted to get it yeah. all right um i'll show you what it looks like <clears throat> Yeah, 
This is the new version, the newer version. And I have a new printer. And the, the, the new printer, like the guys that print it, the, it it's so much prettier than the, than the guys that used to do it. Yeah, it's cool. Yes, sir, we up. Okay. Okay. Good job. Good to see you again. You did a great job. I'm proud. Um, now, uh, when you go out tonight, I don't. I don't want to get any calls like to get you to, to have to bail you out or anything like that. Or you well, know. it's kind of inevitable, you know. So, you know, what am I going to do? <laughs> or like breaking windows and some sort of leftist riot or something. I don't want you to do. <laughs> all right matt take care all right. take care all right thanks you too i'll see you next time get it on the calendar all right all right